And now to a crash outside of our area, but one that is having ripple effects, especially for hockey fans. Columbus Blue Jackets' Johnny Goodrow and his brother Matthew died last night after being hit by a drunk driver. The two were cycling in Oldsman Township, New Jersey, when the drunk driver hit them trying to pass by two vehicles ahead of them. And our Logan Lefiscopo joins us now to tell us more about the ongoing investigation and learn more about Johnny and Matthew Goodrow. Good evening, Logan. Good evening, Mike and Eva. A drunk driver, 43-year-old Sean Higgins of Woodstown, New Jersey, took the lives of the Goodrow brothers when he decided to get behind the wheel after, as he told police, had drank five to six beers prior to the crash. He is now in custody and will face two charges of vehicular homicide. Johnny and Matthew were in and around their hometown of Salem County, New Jersey, because their sister was getting ready to be married today in Philadelphia. I don't know, you know, what else anybody needs to understand or realize um, to, um, to stop drinking and driving. Johnny Goodrow, known for playing in the NHL with the Calgary Flames and the Columbus Blue Jackets, but he was a standout and one of the best to ever come through the Boston College hockey program. People all talk about Johnny as, you know, Olympic player, world class, be Johnny hockey, but not wear that label. Johnny has many achievements during his three seasons as an Eagle, including winning a national championship in 2012, being named the best collegiate hockey player in 2014, and currently still holding the longest point streak in program history of 31 consecutive games. Not only was he really good on the ice, seven-time All-Star, won a national championship, the accolades speak for themselves on the ice but he was just that much better of a person off the ice. Johnny and Matthew both leave behind their loved ones, parents, wives, kids, siblings, friends and teammates, and of course, a legacy. Johnny was a magical, but Matty just, he is complete level and he pushed his brother so much. In the family's public statement, they wanted everybody to know that they are, quote, receiving your messages of love and support, and we appreciate your continued thoughts and prayers, end quote. Logan Lepiscopo, Erie News Now.